Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is an introduction to the basic SQL commands. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. I make content to help you on your QA and automation journey. Now back to the video. SQL, or Structured Query Language, is a programming language that helps you manage data in a database table. The phrase query is to just write a script to interact with that table. SQL has a lot of capabilities. There are many different versions of the SQL language, but each version must support these major commands. Insert, select, where, update, and delete. So today, we're gonna go over these commands so you can understand them. First up is insert. Insert allows you to create a record inside of a table. There are two ways to write an insert statement. The first is to insert adding values without specifying any columns. If you're going to add values for every column in a table, you simply follow the example here. And you don't need to specify the columns in your statement. It is very important though that you write your values in the correct order as they exist in a table based on the columns. Next you can insert by adding values and specifying the columns. This method allows you to create your own mapping to columns and your values. You can also create a record or row inside the table without filling out each column. You can also specify certain columns and SQL will only insert a row of data for those columns. For each of these examples, you will replace table name with the name of your table. You will replace column one with whatever your first column is and follow the same pattern for the other columns. You will replace value one with whatever value you might place in the first column and follow that same pattern for the other values. Now here's an actual example of the replacements. This will create a record that has the values Drake, NY, 40, and manual QA. And as next example, for the columns, subscriber and state, we will insert Drake and CA. And now that we have our values inside of a table, let's try to retrieve the information from that table. Select. Select is used to retrieve information from a table. Your select statement can be very complex, but we will start as simple as possible. Select star from table name allows you to select all columns from a table. You will replace table name with the name of your table. Now let's say you only want certain columns from your table and not all of it. You would then use select column one, column two from table name and you replace column one and column two with whatever columns you want to use. And there is no limit to how many columns in your select statement. And then replace table name with the name of your table. So here's some examples. Select subscriber and location from test lead table. This will return the values for columns, subscriber and location for the table. Next, select star from test lead table. This will return all rows from the table. But what if you only want certain rows? We need some type of filter in action. That's where the where clause comes in. With the where clause, you can filter out your response results to meet a certain criteria. The syntax is select column one, column two from table name where some condition. You replace column one, column two with whatever column. So you can just do select star. Either one is valid in a select statement here. From table name, replace table name with your table's name. And then you replace some condition with a condition that fits your needs. Let's look at this example. Select subscriber and location from test lead table where subscriber equals Drake. That will return our role where Drake is the subscriber. Next, update. Update gives you the ability to change a row that already exists inside of a table. Please note, we will also be using a where clause that we previously covered to filter out and specify which record we want to change. So update table name, set column one equal to value one, where some condition. You replace table name with your table. You replace column one with whatever column you want to update a value for. You replace value one with whatever value one for that column. And then you replace some condition with the condition that fits your needs. So for our example, update test lead table, set subscriber equal to Josh, where subscriber equals Drake. 
now the row or rows that had a value for Drake for the column label subscriber will now have a value of Josh for a subscriber. Now let's say you don't want a row anymore, you want to get rid of it. The delete command. Delete allows you to get rid of a row of rows that already exists in a table. Once again, we will be using our where clause to specify which row or rows we want to delete in our table. Delete from table name where some condition. This is our syntax. You replace table name with whatever table you have and some condition with criteria that fits your needs. Our example, delete from the test lead table where subscriber equals Josh. Now the row of rows that had the value Josh will be removed from the table. I'll make a further video where you can download a relational database management system and actually write queries for these basic commands. But if you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. If you need help on your QA journey, please check out my book on Amazon, QA Must Know Vocabulary. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.